fun fair. Today, Peppa and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. OK, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? OK. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy. I'll try, Peppa, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Peppa? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Peppa and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. <laughs> this is the slide. Whee! You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Oh, oh, oh. I know what a slide is, Peppa. I used to play on one myself. 
when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the olden days? Oh, we had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Ooh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard, you know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh dear, it's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Wee! But Grandpa, George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> Yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Whee! Oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa, they won't be on it for long. <sighs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. Nay. Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Oh, oh I see. That's different. Let me push you then. But Grandpa! <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Well, let's fly on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. Too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> but Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um, <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is... Everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones? Like Grandpa. Even the very old ones like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record! <laughs> Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. 
Ho, ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Wah! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick, like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow! How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. 
What are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes! <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. <laughs> The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. My daddy can shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. <laughs> it is morning. Hooray! <laughs> muddy puddle! Hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? Wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh. Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Oh, chocolate. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Pepper.
Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> the camper van. Peppa and George are very excited today. They are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> What does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah, so that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. 
Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> we simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. <laughs> it's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly. This looks a bit like an engine. Ah, uh, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Ho, oh, oh. ho! Watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Grumpy Rabbit's Boatyard. Pepper, George and Granny Pig are going out for a day on Grandpa Pig's boat. Ahoy there, Pepper and George. We're ready to go sailing. I'll move the boat a bit nearer. Careful you don't. That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off! A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Lovely day for a sail! Um, yes. Ahoy there! I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, oh has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. 
Grumpy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boots with a bit of washing machine? Yes. That's as good as new. Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch. Hi. Amazing! It floats. You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> there's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <coughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going to Duckland, Duckland in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. 
I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> It's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Richard Rabbit comes to play. Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. This will be the best house ever. <laughs> George, Richard Rabbit is here. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Ah. Bye-bye, Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later. George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> George! Richard! You've knocked my house down. Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days is we get to watch important TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Susie. I'll be back to. Quick, Susie! Pick you up later! <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet in the hospital. Choo choo! The bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no. There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like 
like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down in! <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Party. Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yee ha! <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the briny seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirates talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr. Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh! Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee haw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! Aye, aye, The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the, the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. Aha! Got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! This be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> <laughs>